welcome to a new video and welcome to a travel day because we are flying to a new country today. We are at Bangkok Airport and we are on our way to Colombo, Sri Lanka. Very exciting. Uh, airport experience so far. So there's again a lot of documents and a lot of paperwork to have ready but it was all very clear what we needed um, so it's pretty painless. Never been to such an empty airport ever in my life. It is a ghost town. Um, it's very eerie. Uh, basically everything is closed. Absolutely everything. It's very sad. There's like one duty-free shop open. There's, there's literally no food. So, in keeping with our new luxury travel vlogging personas, we are now in a lounge. Yay! <laughs> basically, just because Mike's Amex um, allows us two free passes to a lounge once a year. And we decided this was the time to cash them in because we literally basically couldn't get any food otherwise. So let's go take a look at what food is on offer. Trolley. Where is your little trolley? It's good. I don't know, someone, someone took it. <laughs> now you got to carry, carry your bag. I'll carry your bag, oh. your tiny little bag. It's heavy. That's a real bag. Shit! <laughs> so when we left the lounge, the board in the lounge said that there was no problem. Didn't even say it was boarding. We looked at the sign now and it says final call. <laughs> Run! As terrible airport etiquette. They should not be saying final call when it is not the final call. We just sprinted down and there's still a queue to even get your tickets checked. <laughs> I'm, in such, I'm in such a bad mood at uh, Bangkok Airport. <laughs> well, send a message directly to Bangkok Airport. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You better buck up your ideas. <laughs> So we're in the hotel in Colombo. Um, the room is basically a business hotel, which yeah. is very fantastic, <laughs> comforting. We're gonna go grab some food, um, but we probably won't film that. Consider this the bed test as we're tired from this big long travel day. <laughs> a brand new day. We're here, first proper day in Sri Lanka. It's very sunny outside, not that we can see much of it, it's because of the buildings in the way. Let's go and check out Colombo. First up on our whistle stop tour of Colombo is a park, the name of which is Viharamahama Devi Park. Look, you can see the Washington State Capitol building. <laughs> yeah. We just bumped into Raja, who's a, a gardener here yeah, in the park. Like, oh, my photo <laughs> we, we've stumbled into a tour. Yeah, my dad, my friend. <laughs> Come. Touch anyone, no for only plant. Touch, touch. This is England calling Sun City Plant. Sun City Plant. Botanical yeah. name calling Mimosa. So I've cool. never seen that. That's what amazing. Look, that's a tomorrow open. Very nice. Yeah. Stood, look, this is Cobra Head uh -huh. and covered by Buddhist monk in the middle Buddha temple. That's a Lord Buddha born and die under the tree. That's a calling Cannonball Tree. Okay. Okay. I could fly. Flying foxes. Flying foxes. Uh, yeah, some England very tiny flying foxes. Yeah. No, like a bat. Yeah. Only eat the fruit, uh, mango, papaya, or now sleeping. This is just the best thing ever. We were just expecting to just quickly see a park and that's it. Raj is now taking us on a whole tour. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> they are so big. You're a magician, Raj. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Mike, you are lucky. Yeah, madam, man, you are yeah. lucky. We're very lucky. That's a calling Traveller's Palm Tree. Yeah. Not Sri Lanka, from Madagascar, Africa. Tree, beautiful tree, like a face, like a peacock. And it's stone road, like this. Look. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, sure. No problem. Come on, hold yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. That's a lady. I'll hold you. <laughs> 
to the middle. You want thank you so much. much. Mike, welcome to flight. A pleasure. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you so much for the tour. We appreciate it. Have a lovely day. It was great meeting you. Take care. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, that was amazing. Completely by accident, unsurprisingly, we just slipped into a little, basically a tree tour of this entire park. Um, by the head gardener. By the head gardener, Raj, who has worked here for decades. And had loads of contacts in the UK, which he kept listing off for us, which is very funny. Never in London, Somerset, Toynton, just Very friendly man. Obviously gave him some money at the end for his, like, <laughs> his exclusive tour. On to Ganganamaya Temple. Day check in. So we saw Gangaramaya Temple, um, which was fine. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the Buddhist temples here, having just come from Thailand, they are very different to Thai Buddhist temples. But yeah, a little bit templed out. But you know, that, that, that's natural. That happens. It's okay. It's okay. So now we've come for lunch. We're overlooking Gangaramaya uh, Park and also the lake. It's beautiful. And we're going to have some curry, which is very exciting. That's good. So frustratingly, because of COVID, they're limiting the people who go in there, only people who can do prayer. So we're going back in our tuk-tuk and on to some else. So our taxi driver has dropped us off. We are next to Gaul Face Green, which is this massive green here. You can see the Sri Lankan flag in the background. Very pretty, very Caribbean feeling. Yeah. Indian Ocean right there. It's very cool. And we're heading to Gaul Face Hotel, which is the oldest hotel in all of Sri Lanka. Or maybe Colombo, we're not sure. Gotta get safe. that SPF 50 on <laughs> every three hours. <laughs> so we found out our hotel has a pool. This is us for the next two hours. <laughs> See you for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we were very inspired when we saw incredible sunset yesterday as we were landing we were like wow so we thought we'd enjoy another sunset along with some cocktails to make it really fancy. Thank you. Wow this hotel has been here since 1878. Nearly as old as the oldest hotel. <laughs> Lovely. Cheers to that. Cheers to Sri Lanka. To Sri Lanka. The home of Stuti. This is amazing. So we've got incredible sunset and we can watch a Sri Lankan wedding happening down there. So pretty up here, enjoying the sunset with some drinks and we'll get some food later. We won't show you that. We're up early tomorrow because we're heading to Sigadia at 6am to try and beat the traffic. Yeah. So we left really early this morning from Colombo to beat the traffic on our way to Sigadia with our driver Dinesh. Just stopping the side of the road uh, to get some coconut roti, is it? Yeah, coconut roti with the pickle. Coconut roti it's with spicy. pickle, which is spicy apparently. We're gonna try that. And there are those monkeys here, which is very cool. Pol roti. Pol roti. It means coconut roti. In uh, single is paripu. 
Parifu means dal. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The roti is delicious. Okay. Rasai. <laughs> and this one yeah. uh, is very, very hot. <laughs> It's stronger. It's, it's, not, it's all lovely. That was very spicy. It's sweet but spicy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Amazing. So you can see the dark. Mm. Mm. Um, it's all genuinely so delicious. It's, it's so, so good. good. <laughs> and some of foreigners they like, some of they not. Oh yeah. really? We love this kind of stuff. This so is good. A, this is why we come to Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Sri Lankan experience you look for. This roadside food. It's so good. all so good. Now Dinesh is hooking us up with some black tea and ginger, which apparently goes even better once you've had this. Yeah. Amazing. See how he's cooking it on the That's very nice, very sweet. <laughs> So we're in our hotel, we'll give you a proper tour in a bit. First of all, just look at the view of why we came here of Sigadia Rock. In all the hotels that we looked at, none of, I don't think any of them had a view of the rock like this. It's no, incredible. and it's again, cheap. So a great find, see in a sec for the hotel tour. and specifically the Nelu Villa Hotel. This place is incredible, we love it. I say this every time, but this place is really great. Okay, come on. We have not one, but two four-poster beds, <laughs> which is great. They look like quite rickety wooden beds, so I'm just going to gently do a bed test. Ready? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Come in. Bathroom. Oh, no that. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Can't expect more. Um, lovely open plan concept. Toilet, shower, sink. Fantastic. What more do you need? But best thing about this place and why we chose it is out here. Come on. <laughs> So, we have an incredible view of the actual Sigaria Rock, which is the whole reason why you come here. And most hotels, you can't really see it from your hotel, but this one you can. Second most exciting thing, <laughs> we have a swimming pool in the middle of a rice paddy field. So, that's where you're going to see me next. In three, two, one. Yeah! Pool time! <laughs> so literally just a short walk through those beautiful rice paddies and we come to this little oasis essentially in the middle of all this greenery. Pretty nice, isn't it? So we've literally been chilling today, enjoying our beautiful hotel, and we're just going to have some lovely beers. Not actually watch the sundown, because that happens behind us, but watch the uh, sun go down on Sigaria and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. So we come down the road to some random restaurant to have our first proper Sri Lankan meal. We have got a classic, kotu roti, which is basically like roti chopped up with loads of different meats and vegetables. Delicious. We have got uh, chicken curry, dal curry, and coconut roti. 
basically bread, curry, meat, vegetable, delicious. We are very, very excited. <laughs> Yay! This is incredible. You've only ever had Sri Lankan food, really, in London, in really one restaurant, which is called Hoppers, in central London, so uh, quite expensive, delicious. And Kotu Roti is something we've had there, and this is absolutely extraordinary. It's amazing. It's, it's like noodles, but it's not noodles, it's broti bread, and it's... Real good. So, this is all delicious. We've got early start tomorrow. We're gonna catch the sunrise, um, and then hike up the big rock. So we'll see you in the morning. Ooh. Beautiful sunrise this morning. You can serve the largest piece of toast I've ever seen. Mm. They're very full now. That's nice. <laughs> now we have to go climb that huge big rock. beginning our ascent. There's about 1,200 steps to get to the top. So a little bit of background on Sigiriya Rock. This was actually a fortress. So in about 500 AD, King Summon Summon, brother, <laughs> um, came here, built his palace on top of the rock and kind of surrounding area. We walked through some beautiful gardens. Oh, God, I'm already so out of breath. Hold on. There's a monkey. So, basically walked through the beautiful gardens to get to the rock, and now we're climbing. Look at the view. You can see the, the gardens down there, and you can see my sweetie face. Stairs do feel kind of rickety. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> we have the top. Made it to the top of Sigurdir Rock. This is absolutely incredible. One of the best things I've seen. Literally 360 degrees panorama views. <coughs> it's not even that hot because we came early in the morning. You wouldn't know it looking at you. <laughs> yeah. It's very steep steps, not very clear. Incredible. Imagine having a palace up here. I want a palace up here. We live here now. item for a while to come here ever since I saw some pictures of this ridiculous incredible rock in the middle of this jungle essentially um, and then found out that you can actually go up it we had to come so one of the highlights of Sri Lanka for us ticked 
yeah. did not fail us whatsoever. If anything, it's better in person. The views from here. This is absolutely incredible. Extraordinary. I would tell everyone to come here. Yeah. And yeah, it's a lot of steps, but you know, we're fine now having sat down for a few minutes and we also raced up. Yeah, How long it did it take us? us? Honestly, like half an hour. I think the, it's meant to take an hour and a half. Guy said, <laughs> the guy said an hour and a half. We were up here at 8.30. We were dropped off at 7.30. Yeah, we, uh, we raced up pretty quick. We can actually see our hotel right there. I'll try and zoom in now with my incredible zoom lens. <laughs> what a zoom. Well, and a little hotel. So after the beautiful views of Sidagaya earlier this morning, we're now hiking in the neighbouring rock, Pitarangala, for a view of the first rock. Tired again, hiking with Tuk Tuk Samir, our Tuk Tuk driver, having a lovely time. Beautiful jungle walk. sitting here enjoying the incredible view and what hopefully is looking like is going to be an incredible sunset and we're going to leave it there for this video we've got a couple more days in Sigaria where we're just going to chill out look at lots of birds and animals probably not going to film much of that if anything so we'll <laughs> leave it there for this episode yeah. we've only been in Sri Lanka for three days mm -hmm. Yeah. and we've already seen so much. This has been the most incredible postcard view of Sri Lanka mm -hmm. we could possibly ask for. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy the sunset over Sigiriya. Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, the sun. The sun's coming. sat here contemplating life and the meaning of everything looking at that beautiful sunset <laughs> I would just like to also point out <laughs> that we've had such trouble here with the conversion rate because <laughs> Steph didn't want to end the film without going through the economics part of the uh, of the lecture <laughs> no I was going to mention it at lunch and I forgot <laughs> but <laughs> one pound is like 270 rupees <laughs> and that's just so inconvenient so whenever we're going anywhere like here and then it was like oh 500 rupees and we have like oh, how much is that <laughs> it's very difficult <laughs> we figured out if we're converting from rupees we times by four and then kind of hope for the best so 250 rupees times four thousand divided so by hundred we, we know it's roughly like a pound so. <laughs> Yeah, no more sun. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. The sun is gone. <laughs> and so the sun sets on our video. <laughs> and the sun will rise in the next one. <laughs> Thank you for watching Steffi's Economics Cigaria Rock Tour. <laughs>